I'd like to give a massive shout out to the support from my patrons. If it wasn't for you guys contributing to my work, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. Thank you so much. It's Feed Bank Gaming back with another How to Form a Country series. And today we're going to be forming the African. Oh my goodness, what is it called? It's got like four different names depending on what ideology you are. If you don't already know, guys, if you are a different ideology in Hearts of Mind 4, your name of the nation changes. In this case, it is called, when you form it, it's called Create the Zimbabwean Empire. So this was the Zimbabwean Empire at its height. South Africa will be referred to as Mutapa. I believe it's called the Zimbabwe Empire if it's fascist. But we're not going fascist. So we're going to play South Africa. It's going to be a sight, kind of mid-maxi video. It's kind of a video where I get to chill because this is relatively easy because I've played this before and I kind of have a, a gist of how to play it. We're going to exercise you. We're going to make you the district force, which is a slightly larger template. And we're going to do something completely, utterly different. We are going to go for tanks and South Africa. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a way of going for tank, a tank build in South Africa that's kind of on a budget. Uh, three infrastructure in Trasvaal. Just to let you know, this focus changes where it puts the infrastructure every time you load the game. When you reload it, it randomly selects one of the four states in South Africa. If it selects this one, bad luck. Unfortunately, you're not going to get anything from that. If it selects one of these two, you, well, actually any of these three, to be honest with you, you're in luck. Transvaal's good because it increases the amount of uh, steel and it's just capital too, so there's more supply. The downside is you can't build anything in there until you've gone for more dispersed industry makes me sad we are going to go for military factories early on because this is going to be a war build i'm not going to go for that one yet but we will go for it soon because that's going to give us more steel we are going to abandon westminster okay it's time to go for our first trivia question to make you guys comment more on my videos and massage the youtube algorithm i would like you to like this video go ahead like the video give it a like bang that like button flick that like button give it a good old full hand slap a bit of a backhander you get the idea. Actually, you don't need to do that. What I really would like you to do is reply to this trivia question. So if you do know the answer to this trivia question, please comment below with your answer. The question is this. In the Second World War, what tank was most produced by the Germans? Which tank did the Germans mostly produce in the Second World War? Did you guys get that? Did I say that wrongly? I felt like I worded that really badly, but I think I got the point, right? I had to look this one up. I had to Google it and actually look up find out the answer to that one because I wasn't quite sure. If you guys want to be a big brave big boy and don't look it up on Google, which you can, but you can't if you want to, feel free to comment below on which tank you think was the one that Germany produced the most in the Second World War. Also, we're currently doing a giveaway to give away a Paradox DLC of your choice. If you win the giveaway, you get to choose which DLC you would like. The link to enter the giveaway is in the description of this video and it is the pinned comment at the bottom. Click on the link. There's many different ways you can enter. Feel free to enter. And you have a small chance, or you have a significant chance actually, of winning and getting a Paradox DLC. We are going to go for artillery. We are also going to go for the guns as well. <coughs> yes. Okay, so we've abandoned Westminster. We now have the ability to empower the workers. Will do. Ethiopia is holding on for dear life. So we can either go for mechanized or for construction. I'm actually going to go for mobile warfare. You didn't see that coming, did you? No, actually, you, can, you could have seen that coming because uh, I am going for a tank build. To start with this tank template. Now, what sucks about this tank template is it's a tank division that can't go fast. The only way we can make this go fast is to add motorized or cavalry. And it's going to cost us 30 XP to add cavalry. And I'd like to add artillery onto it too. And reconnaissance, but that's 50 XP. I can't believe how expensive it is to do that. So we're going to have to make this division bigger to hopefully get more XP. The larger this division is, the more XP you will get from it. That's why I'm making it bigger and bigger. Yes. So we're going to empower the workers, and then we are going to burn the royal portraits. Uh, then we're going to go for the railways. Then we're going to hire the revolutionary. So this series is slightly mid-maxing. I've kind of refined this a little bit. There will be ways you could do this more optimally. 
Ideally, I'd recommend you go for artillery infantry over mobile war mobile divisions. Um, yeah, I'd prefer you to go for artillery divisions. They're just more efficient. They're better attacking and defending. But the tank divisions aren't as flexible, that's all. But I thought about doing something a little bit different. So the objective is to form the uh, Zimbabwe Empire, which you need this state, this state, this state, and this state. Just four states. And they all become cores, and you get quite a lot of pop from that as well. Three million, four million... 4 million, a uh, quarter of a million. <clears throat> so that gives you a significantly more manpower or people power. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god, Republican Spain. What has happened? Oh my good golly. I don't think they're going to survive here. If they lose. Ooh, they might, if they lose Madrid right now, they might be at the end of them. Three, two, one. We're going to support Spain. It's only a 35 day focus, but it gives us the option to get more organization. It gives us two options to send volunteers or two just to send a bulk load of manpower, which potentially, if they win or lose, gives us a national spirit. Our warfare. We don't we're going to go for delay. Uh, mechanized computer, sure. Free trade would be a sound option right now, but I'm starting to think, is that the right option for me, though? Do I want that? I'm going to send support in the form of manpower. We're going to go for the civvies or the royal portraits. I think we have one more focus we can go for, so we'll go for the mining industry. Okay, the reason we're going to fire a civil war is it does two things. One, it flips us to communism, and two, it will instantly break us away from the UK, so we don't have to play all that rigmarole of throwing political power and having to wait. This is a qu quicker solution than having to wait. And we are doing that now. We need additional 100 political power to fire. Civil War. I'm gonna make this division bigger. We get more XP from it that way. And then we need a hundred political power. Then we can uh, fire the Civil War. So we do anti-fascist raids. That drops us below 50% uh, stability. It allows us to ignite the civil war when we've got 50 political power. I'm going to stop exercising you. One mistake you could make is if you continue to exercise, you'll notice the division won't be able to move. I've made that mistake before. Don't make that mistake. So I'll just recall, why have we done this? The reason why I've done this is it breaks us away from the UK instantly. Yeah, it breaks us away from the UK instantly. And it also uh, makes us instantly communist. Otherwise, we'd have to wait until 50%. But we're not going to do this time because that instantly happened. Yay. And we're taking Cape Town. Yay. End of the Civil War. Ooh. What a glorious war, boys. Now, that is a war that I like, okay? I'm not a big war thirsty kind of guy, you know? And I feel like a war where no one dies, that's a good war. Maybe there was some friendly fire. Maybe South Africans fired at each other thinking they were other South Africans. Technically, in the South African Civil War, the only people who can die are actually South Africans. Hmm, Dave. Hmm. Hmm. That really makes you think, doesn't it? That really makes you think. That really gets the noggin jogging. I don't know why I just did that. We did do that. Do that. There we go. So we made one military factory, which isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that one. Okay, so right now we need to gain more political power because we need to go for anti-colonial crusade. Why? Because it gives us an extra 10% war support, which will allow us to go for partial mobilization. And that is very useful for a small nation because you want to get mobilized as soon as possible. Oh my god, I can't believe it. The Republicans are actually winning now. Okay, cool. And also saving political power is going to be useful because we want to go for extensive conscription. Uh, free trade is good though. Free trade is so good, but I don't know when we're gonna have the opportunity to go for free trade. Anti-royalist riots in Cape Commune. Oh, we are the Cape Commune. I'm not actually too sure what the name of the nation is gonna be when we form the South African Zimbabwe. 
Can't remember the name of the nation. So we can go for extensive, but we can't do that because we need more than 20% war support. So I think we are going to go free trade. Let's just do it. Let's just commit to it. Come on, Dave. Be a big boy. Still make it up. Let's get that free trade going. The free trade results in more construction speed, more factory output, and more research time. There we go. Figured it. But we lose our goods. We only think we're going to lose is steel, though. Which is a bit of a bummer, but we're not losing that much because we don't have a lot to begin with. Yes. I thought this was all over, boys, but I guess not. Maybe the South African, the Borers, 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 arrived and they're doing that. I always think I pronounce that right. Is it Boers? It's Boers, isn't it? They were like the Dutch South Africans, weren't they? All right, construction is not that worthwhile. Is it? Think about this. Think about it. So we've got artillery. We've got tanks. I think I am going to go for construction. I think I need to focus on my industry. Oh, we've got 50 tanks, guys. We're really going for it, aren't we? Anti-colonial crusade. So now we can go for Arsha Mobe. And this part of the focus tree, I stop. At this point, I guess I could say to myself, I could go for the extra political power. No, so what this is going to do is potentially gives us more factory output. But... No, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. It actually gives 5% war support as well. Oh, hang on. I can't do that until I've gone for this focus. Ah, balls. Maybe I just ignore it. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I'm going to ignore it. Because what will happen is world tension will spike anyway. And I'll get over 25%. Anywho. So if you're not already aware, guys. War support and uh, world tension are, are tied into each other. When world tension goes up, everyone universally gets more war support. It's the idea is that the whole world is interconnected. And uh, when the world goes into turmoil, everyone is affected by it in some way or some respect. Being the fact that it's a world war. Get the idea of world and it's the whole world up. Oh, damn. All right, so we're looking on the Japanese right now because they're going to go for their Marco Polo right now. And I'll do for now. Oh, I do 20 width. Because we can always pump out 20 as this game progress. Because we'll have more manpower eventually anyway. So I have got history of segregation it loses half of our manpower, which is really annoying. Uh, trying to catch up on technology. We're not going for that because we want partial mobilization, and I need factories really badly. The easiest way of getting factories in South Africa is to get through national focus. Because your uh, industrial output is quite trash. I'm curious to see if Marco Polo is going to add enough world tension for us to go partial. I'd imagine it would, because this adds an extra two, doesn't it? Or one. Then you have the Declaration of War, which adds an additional five, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So ideally, we, we want to make our tank division. That's the first step. Then we'll pump out a lot of crappy infantry, whichever these ones. Twenty-five percent. Boom! There you go, boys. Oh, look! And Japan's giving up Beijing. Remember, historicals turned on right now, and that's what's resulting in that. Hmm. 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 Wow. So ideally, we want thirty XP. That's the minimum, barely minimum, and that'll allow us to add on. Uh, Oh, we could have a pure tank division. That just won't work, because I'm attacking jungles. I'm going to suffer from so a bad penalty. It's extremely hot, too. Oh, man. Just tanks feels like all the wrong thing to do as South Africa. It just feels like the, all the wrong things. But you know what? Sometimes when it feels wrong, it's actually right. Oh, my God, boy. Demonetize. All right.
Construction is done, and we can go for excavation, but it will only result in more chromium, so that's pointless. I'm still exercising, that's good. We now have access to seven civilian output, which is good. Uh, we're going to go for extensive conscription. We can step our way up to extensive over time. Japan is justifying on China. It's almost like the Japan Japanese didn't want just Beijing, didn't they? They didn't want just Beijing. They wanted a little bit more, a little bit south than that, didn't they? That is just wrong on so many levels. How many tanks is this? 120. Oh. 20. I could make one tank division. And this is why we can't have nice things. And we need doing for steel right now. So minus four. It's not too bad. With war support being so slow, our mobilization is pretty slow as well. No, we're at 0 0.9 right now, with a maximum of 2.5. We're only mobilizing at 0 0.06. 0 0.006 per day, because uh, our mobilization sucks, because no one really wants to fight. It's almost like war is like something people are not up for, you know? Like, people are not really a big fan of it, you know? I wonder why. So to make this division worthwhile, I'm probably going to have to slap on loads of uh, cavalry, aren't I? I'm not going to gain XP. One thing to know is the one division trick only works if you're not training any divisions. But ideally, I'd like reconnaissance on this division too. And I'd also like artillery support. I probably could go for the better tank division as well. We we'll go for industry, and then we we'll go for the research slot. Because I want to try and get dispersed industry three two. Once again, we don't have a lot of factory output, so we're trying to make the most of what little we have. Go for another horse. Boom. We can always bang out these divisions at lightning speed anyway. How many of these can we make? Make fifteen of them. We need lots of. Uh, we need lots of guns. We need to make sure the production of guns we stay on top of. So one thing I've noticed too is you don't need to make an air force of South Africa due to the la the large air zones in South Africa, uh, well, southern start of Africa, and the lack of airports. You don't seem to see much uh, money people contesting the air zones in these regions. Just something I've noticed. All right, extensive conscription. And we can also go for the armor expert. That's the reason why I've done this, by the way. I can go for armor expert, and I can go for maneuver guy, and we can get a fast tank division, like, plowing through Africa. All right, so air is useless. Radio is useful. Doctrines will be useful, too. Artillery attack is probably going to be more useful. So, are we getting ready to attack Portugal now? I think we're reaching that point. We need at least two of these, though. Yeah, we need two of these. And then we need to train a bunch of infantry, too. That'll do. Brilliant. So, factory output or the research slot? I think we need one research slot. Just the one, though. And then we go for Disperse Industry. It's just about a year ahead. Six months ahead we can get it. That's good. This war has been grinding on for a while. Total mobilization! I've never seen the AI in the Civil War go total mob. Wow. What's their war support like? I wish there was more ways of getting higher war support. Because the only way you can do it is if world tension gets high enough and you fire war propaganda. That's the only way you can do it. Need 50% world tension to do it. Add an extra horse onto you. For you boys, and then delete you. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Here we are, boys. We're going to promote you. We're going to get a new, new guy. Oh, he's a horse guy. Okay, that's... All right. Okay, I'm cool with that. Pop you boys here. Like half of you. And pop that here. Do this. Yeah, good. Exercise a wee bit. Oh my god, we're actually prepared. Uh, and then we could probably grind into the four dudes. We're definitely prioritizing the tanks. Yes, that's good. Exercising you boys. Doing very well with the tank production here, aren't we? We probably should assign a few more on. What's the oil penalty like? Send. Uh, got the research slot. And then we start working on fabricating on Portugal. Yes. Working on the artillery, which is going to be our base damage anyway. Um, radio. We're going to war, so we need to prepare for the attack now, don't we? This is the reason why you go for military factories as South Africa. So you still add, you do add on more and more as time goes on, but you, because you're going to war in the first two years of the game, you've uh, you've got to do it. Will I get the event? Ah, oh, so you don't get the event. So the the oh, so the Republicans have to win to get the national focus event. Wow. Okay, I didn't realize that. So just to give you the heads up. If the Republicans win the Civil War, once you've sent support with manpower, you get a national spirit that fires that gives you plus five organization of something like veterans of the Civil War or something like that. And they're probably like, oh, but Dave, that just makes sense. Oh. Okay. There you go. So wh whether they win or lose, you get it. <laughs> whether they win or lose, it don't matter. It don't matter. All right, what are we doing? So, I think army expert right now would be a worthwhile meme. Oh, talent work. And then we can go for liberate the Portuguese colonies. So the beauty of the focus tree for South Africa, communist South Africa, is you get the ability to fabricate any all the neighbors a lot quicker. And then we'll start working on the doctrines too. I mean, organization is a flat attack and defense value. But it's not attack, attack and defense, but it just means you can last longer in combat, which is always good. And we're, we're maxed out. Maybe we just split you boys off. Just to exercise them a little bit, that's all. What division have they got? So it's just infantry here. Infantry. Oh, can't see what they've got. More divisions. Where do I put you? Do we put you here? The smaller infantry train a lot quicker. I think when they've got tank divisions, mobile divisions in them, they don't train as quickly. Reason why I didn't gain XP as quick. Another 20, 30 days, and then we can start declaring the war. The so one battalion of tanks is 60 tanks, okay. So I'm gonna need 120 tanks before I can add another battalion on. The more tanks we've got on, the more breakthrough, the more armor. This tank has a total armor value of 5.3. Um, this infantry has a, a piercing of four. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's very close to getting pierced, put it that way. All right, what are we doing, boys? Are we on to it? Are we on it? Let's go. Boom, radio's done. We can go for encryption. Excavation's useless to us. Oh, actually, maybe not. We're getting 10% more, so that's an extra three. Um, I guess it is kind of useful at this point. Wow. Wow. And that gives extra soft attack for our divisions. I'll go into attack. That planning, planning bonus. 
We need to add a more soft attack onto our artillery, onto our tank divisions. Tank divisions are great because of their flat damage values. Uh, the, their flat breakthrough values. But if they haven't got the soft attack, then they're just useless. Oh, I don't know. The breakthrough is still pretty good. Can I? I don't really like doing this because I lose my planning bonus, but I'm going to have to do it. My god, we're actually breaking them really quickly. Oh my god, guys. Am I under, underestimating tanks here? I didn't realize there were... I thought they were dog shit, but there you go. I'm totally wrong. Totally wrong. Need you guys to stay here. I want to try and encircle them. I mean, because that's the reason you get tanks, right? You do it because you want to encircle. Is there any other purpose of tanks? No! Tanks can encircle. That's the beauty of them. The beauty of them. Don't get panzer leader. The tank's probably not hard enough. Where's the tank division gone? Come on, dude. Go, go, go. The terrain's probably hurting me in the rivers. But that's good. We've uh, managed to break through anyway, so that's all good. The reason why I didn't set the front line to the border of Angola is because there's nothing to lose here. Other than four military factories. Wow. Is this the series of what whoopsies? Is this the series where I'm going to like go to say whoopsie like a thousand times? <laughs> <laughs> I've got out of supply, that's good. You have to make sure that they don't break us here, because if they don't, they're going to cause us a lot of problems. Oh, there we go, they broke them, that's good. Oh, I know why he's not getting Panzer Leader. He's not getting Panzer Leader. Because of reasons. <laughs> he's not getting Panzer Leader because the division, this army consists mainly of infantry, that's why. You guys are going to go here, and then railroad to here. Um, okay, so we can't go for war, war economy because we are war support's too low. Um, you know what? The last minute we could get this and get the extra reliability and soft attack. Why not? Let's not make our tanks better. Why not? Okay, and then we do Belgium? No. We need to get the extra research slot. So, do we get political power, which we don't need, and factory output, which we don't need. We don't need the manpower, so we don't need that. That's extra political power, and that's all it is. So, in that case, we need to start working on either Belgium fabrication or the extra research slot. We do research slot. How is Europe doing? Oh, it's... Oh, my God! It's the 10th of December, 1938! I thought it was 1939! Oh, my God. We are way ahead of schedule, boyos. We are way ahead of schedule. Oh, look at this, Matildas. Are you proud of me, Daddy? Matildas. All right. Okay, that's good. We can go for the breakthrough now, right? That adds to the cavalry. Yep. All right, and then uh, you guys do the front line business. Everyone goes here. Oh my God, you guys don't even have to move. That's awesome. I misunderestimate the power of just weak, small battalions. You know, I feel like this is something I should do more often, you know. I want to go for 20 width tanks. That's what I want. So ideally, if I want to do this, I'd want to take these guys out in the center. Yeah. We're going to thrash through the center. I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't have just bash through them and circle these on the right. And these are all planes too. That's high temperature. I think what I'll do is disable that. And then you go... Oh no! Don't do that! You, want, you both go here. Hang on a minute. We, why are you guys attacking? You're all on the... I don't know what's happening anymore. 
Is this guy artillery, dude? Oh my guy's got artillery. He's, is he piercing the tanks? I don't want that. Uh, we want encryption. No, he's not. Where's the other tank? There we go. Surely he should be able to break that. No way. Just remember, most of these divisions consist of soft attack. So why they wouldn't even be hitting the tank because of the hardness of the tank. It's only 34% hardness. It's not that hard. Pizza. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. Don't forget, when you subscribe, don't forget the bell icon. If you don't hit the bell icon, it's like you're not subscribed at all. Unfortunately, that's the way YouTube works these days. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.